This conference will now be recorded. This is Bill O'Brien, 9th District Councilman and Chairman of the Parks and Rec Committee, calling to order the special Parks and Rec meeting of Tuesday, March 7th at 5 p.m. And uh, thanks everybody for being available on short notice for the special meeting. Amy, are you there? I am here. You want to tell everybody what's going on? Yes, hi, Amy Nor, Superintendent Recreation. Um, thank you all for being here for this special meeting. Uh, we do have a special meeting so that we could send a resolution off to the town council about summer camp fees. I'm sure all of you know that the minimum wage will be going up to $15 an hour on June 1st. So my budget that I submitted for July 1st is significantly larger than it has been in years past. So in order to offset those costs, um, I'm asking if you could please raise our fees for our playground summer camp, which runs seven weeks from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, our previous price was $75 for the entire summer, which is supplemented by the Strafford taxpayers. We'd like to up that to $150 for the entire summer. Um, and that will help offset a lot of my costs um, for staff and the increase in the numbers of children that we are um, getting at the camps. We also have a sport camp that we run. Um, our sport camp runs same weeks, June 26th through August 10th, and that is nine to 12. We charge weekly for that program. Um, we had previously were charging $75 for the, each week, and this year we'd like to charge $100 per week um, for that camp. So, all the wording, but what I'm looking for is a, a favorable recommendation to send to the town council to increase the fees for playground camps from 75 to 150 and sports camps from 75 to 100. I'll make that motion. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone have any questions before? Um, or oh, do we have a second first? I'll second that motion, Rick Marco. All right, thank you. Any um, further discussion? You give out financial aid? Yes, I, yes. I, I give I, financial aid and full scholarships. Um, we have a form that families can fill out. And once I receive that form, we go ahead and do that. We probably give, I would say, anywhere from 20 to 30 full scholarships each year. That was going to be my question. And does camp typically fill up? Oh yeah, with a wait list. And so yes. I think we also need to be mindful. We're talking we're talking about seven weeks that were seventy five bucks is basically ten dollars ten and a half dollars a week for what did you say the hours were, Amy? Eight to three. Eight to three. Yeah. So for eight for so that's potentially you know thirty five hours a day here or or camping whatever you want to call it. I know when I was a kid in Stratford. I meet all my buddies there that we spend a ton of time there. So to have it go from basically 1050 to 21 bucks a week is very, very reasonable on our part. But no, I, I That's my two cents. It's, it's definitely, you know, for the whole summer, it's, 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 you know, half of what you pay for a week at the average private camp. Of course. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just curious about what, you know, and, there, and there's a lot to do at the camp. Yeah, I mean, minimum wage comes into a small play, but that's a huge increase that's not minimum wage related. So I'm just curious so, how that. Yeah, so Tim. Oh, I, I see. I see what you're saying. So, Tim, basically, in years past, we accept, uh, we have five playgrounds in town where we accept 110 kids, and on an average day, we would get 50. So it was really no big deal. I could I could have four kids on staff, five kids on staff, and make it work. Um, last year, on an average day at each camp, we were upwards of 80 to 90 kids a day, which meant instead of my budgeting for four kids per playground, I was having to put eight kids on a playground to handle the capacity. Um, so I've obviously changed my budget now to have budget for eight kids on a playground, eight to nine staff per playground. Plus, we increased a playground. We're now going to have six playgrounds instead of five playgrounds. That makes a lot of sense. 
is the financial aid based on um do you have a financial aid budget or is it just based on need it's based on need if, if somebody needs it we make it work obviously you know we're here for stratford residents it's for only stratford residents um so you know if somebody calls me needs it they fill out the form we put them in i also work with stratford pal who will give me a call and let me know of a few kids um i work with some of the teachers in town who will tell me hey i got a kid who needs to be in care every day mom doesn't have the money can you help out? and as long as they fill out my little scholarship form we put them in yeah, thanks that's that all makes sense to me amy where is the additional uh, playground so in the past we did johnson soto as one playground but we are overwhelmed over there so what we're going to do is the younger kids are going to stay on the soto side of the school and the older kids are going to stay on the johnson side of the school and we're going to run them as two separate camps with two separate uh supervisors and counseling staff Amy, just one other one comment. Um, and I talked to Bill about this yesterday. My camp um, that I run is um, 13 weeks ahead of schedule as far as enrollment goes. Um, and the other camps in our town, including the rec recreation department, which usually fill up very fast, have all filled up very fast, as fast as they possibly could. So I don't know if that transfers from Fairfield to Stratford or not, but we are definitely seeing a huge hunger from families to register and to register quick that we've never seen before and it's been growing the last two years uh, through covid yeah we've um i mean we were pretty we were full through covid um so and then last year really um you know kind of overwhelmed us because normally like i said people sign up for the whole summer but they don't always come every day well they came every day so it was uh obviously we covered it because we're not going to be unsafe right. but um you know i expect that the day we filled up in previous years within hours i believe it yep and, and i think that this year could possibly be you know even longer wait list than, than ever based on what i'm hearing and seeing so far yeah fun <laughs> <laughs> it's a good problem to have yep all right, if there's no hey, further discussion. Uh, I just had a quick question. This is Bobby. And I just had a quick question for you. Have you noticed that given this increase in minimum wage that's happening for everybody, are places like the Y or Sterling House also increasing? There Are they expected to? Is that just going to be the natural? That's what it's going to have to be? I'm not sure what Sterling House is charging or the Y. I, didn't, I don't really... I don't really check that out. I mean, I know in the past they're they're upwards of two two hundred dollars okay. a week. So yeah, yeah. I'm guessing everyone's going to have to increase. I mean, unless you're, you know, you kind of you can't pay supervisors the same as you're paying first round kids. So yeah, yeah. So everybody's got to move. Yeah. Sterling yeah. House has, has a, a, a I'd say what seemed like to me like a modest increase that was in line with the increase that I have and. Yeah, the private camps are always going to increase annually. Um, you know, you, you just you have to, and if you know for many reasons. Um, so I don't think their increase is, is crazy this year, but it, it is modest increase. Hey, uh, just, I'm a member of the Y. Right. I'm right. a member of the Y, and uh, my membership fees, all the membership fees for the Y, did go up, and also their camp fees can go up. So I can uh, comment on that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I also just don't think you could really compare, you know, the the why and and the Sterling House to uh to the town. It's good to know, but no, no. it's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just uh, just more concerning the minimum wage impact. That's yeah. it was just a general question. I get. It. I'm in agreement that we should be doing this. So. Okay then. Uh... All those in favor of sending this to the town council, favorable recommendation, say aye. Sure. Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right, passes unanimously. And Margo, I mean, uh, Aileen, you'll get that to Margo so she can get it on um, Monday's agenda. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Great job. Just as two, quick question, Bill. 
Just yes. um, Aileen, I believe Margo asked if you could have that to her by tomorrow because I guess the pony goes out tomorrow. Yep, I have it all. I have it pending in my email, ready to go. Wonderful. And then just so everyone is aware, we will start to promote our camps. Um, I'm hoping by March 15th, I'll have all my flyers and everything ready. And our registration will open on April 17th. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Rick, Rick Martin. Right, good night, everyone. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> Oh, Thank you, Patrick. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Meeting adjourned right. at 5 10 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Aileen. Excellent. This conference and, uh, will now be Addison recorded. Lattimore.